everybody. Good evening to you. How are you? Welcome. Hope you're all doing well. So today I'm doing kind of a mini react to Chantal's latest video. So she posted a video today. Uh, I guess Kuwait is celebrating Independence Day. And the reason why I'm doing a partial react is because she talked about Independence Day in the very beginning of the video. But halfway through, she does another mukbang. That's right. That even with an Independence Day video, doing another doggone mukbang. And you guys know how I feel about those. And I think we're going to skip that part. But that's all right. That's perfectly fine because we got plenty of stuff to cover other than the video. Including, including some wonderful stuff on Twitter with people talking about all of the stuff going on with Chantal buying subs. But on top of buying subs, she's going to another channel on YouTube to help her get to 100K. She literally sent a message to this person who has the sub for sub channel telling this person that they want to get to 100K. So there's all kinds of proof and evidence that she's doing this. And for anyone who's interested, that is against YouTube's terms of service. You cannot do that. You cannot do sub for sub to artificially inflate your numbers. And Chantal is really close to reaching 100K as we speak. So I would like to show you exactly what she's been up to and the Twitter stuff. And then we'll get into the video itself, which has got some interesting moments in it. So why don't we just start here let me see i would like to show you chantal's social blade page you know because we do like our context here and her page has a d minus rating Ooh, foodie that's just that's bad that's really bad but we're not interested in the rating we're interested in what's going on here on the left so 2 13 24 800 new subs. Then on 22024, another 100 subs. Then on 22124, the next day, another 200 subs. And guess what? Today, another 400. So her sub count has gone up. Let's add it all together, y'all. We got 1,200, 14, 1,500 new subs and how is that possible for a channel that's doing lackluster content and isn't getting much in the way of views 1500 new subscribers and the content isn't any better the quality isn't any better customer satisfaction isn't any better how do you get that many subs unless you're going around the corner, around the block to inflate those numbers. For some reason, Chantal is absolutely obsessed with getting to 100K, although it makes no sense, does it? Because once she reaches 100K, what then? It doesn't mean that her money is gonna go up. It doesn't mean that her engagement is gonna go up. It's not really pointing in the health of her channel in any positive way. It's just a big number on her page. But that seems to be the goal right now, to reach 100K by any means necessary, whether it's her buying subs or asking another channel help to getting to that number. And on that note, I just have to wonder out loud, this person to cat 5555 that is helping Chantal, I have to wonder if they realize that with Foodie being who she is and the reputation that she has and being so notorious, if they have a channel where they're offering sub for sub, which is against the terms of service, by Foodie using their service, that means eyeballs are going to be placed on their channel as well. So if you're on YouTube doing something you really shouldn't be doing, do you want that many eyes on you spotlighting what you're doing? I don't think so. Also, 
it would seem these days that Chantal, she is tailoring her content to more Arabic speaking people. She is just trying to increase her audience. That might lead to a bit of trouble, I believe, because she's widening her circle of reach as far as who knows about her. And by opening up the circle to people that wouldn't ordinarily watch her, I have to wonder if those new viewers know about her past, all the things she's done. Well, if they don't know, I'm sure they're going to find out. And that might lead to some kind of trouble or another for Chantal. So her feverishness to reach 100K might lead to unseen problems. But there you have it, folks. There's those social blade plays right there. You know, it, it's not like small increases in number on these blank days. It's just numbers on certain days. Yeah. Very, 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 very sus. Very sus indeed. Okay. So now that you've seen that, let's go on over to Twitter because there's all kinds of interesting things on Twitter today. And I am most eager to show them to you. You might find them interesting as well. Okay. So for those of you that are not on Twitter, uh, you want to keep up with everything on Twitter, I am happy to help. And for those of you that are on Twitter that you would like to follow me on Twitter, it's Wild Girl Sarah. Now let's start here with Perfectly Imperfect, saying, well, foodie beauty, when you reach 100K, you and the rest of us will know you didn't earn them. You begged for them, just like the grifter you are. Okay, so this is courtesy of Nothing But Love, and Mo translates, and Mo, we are so happy that you're back, and you're active, your timing is impeccable. So here is Chantal posting a message to the person, Takat, at the Takat channel. She wrote it in Arabic, she was trying to be slick, but here's a translation. I need 800 subscribers to reach 100,000. So she's outright begging for subs just to reach 100K. <laughs> she didn't even contact them privately. This was done publicly, but that's the translation of the message. She said she doesn't speak Arabic. I wonder if Salah wrote that for her, which begs another question. I just have, I'm just wondering out loud, y'all. I'm wondering if the reason why she wants to reach 100K so badly, it has something to do with Salah. Maybe if she feels like if she has a much bigger channel that he'll want to stay with her. These are just things that I'm wondering. I don't know how you guys feel, but you can gladly tell me in the comments. I would love to hear your points of view. Okay, this is from Mo. Hey, Mo. Mo says, this is from a February 21st live stream on Takat's channel. Chantal asking for sub for sub. It seems to me that the Takat woman already knew who Chantal was when she got the super chat. So I wonder if Chantal had contacted her WhatsApp. I included screenshots, clips, and translations. Uh, and she did in two parts. And there's... So they're, they're going back and forth. It's not like Chantal cannot claim innocence here. She can't say, well, I didn't know anything about the channel. I didn't know what it was all about. She can't claim innocence here. Because here is Mo Translates giving clear evidence. If YouTube doesn't do anything about Chantal or about the Decot channel, then they're sending a message out to other people. That if you want a large channel, if you do something against the TOS, they're going to turn their heads. They don't care. As long as the channel is making money for them, they don't care. That will be the message that YouTube is sending out to people. That you can do some crooked things against the terms of service and they honestly don't care. So the ball's in your court, YouTube. You made these doggone policies. The big question is, are you going to enforce them? Or are they just words on a piece of paper to make the advertisers feel comfortable so they'll put ads on your website? We shall see. 
Uh, D Angry Scott says, it's good that we have this so we can show YouTube when they're reviewing her channel before giving the play button to Foodie when she has uh, 90K of dead subs. People ask why Girl World exists. This kind of crap right here is the main reason. Yeah, calling her out on her BS. That's exactly why we're here. Not to criticize her meals. We don't care about her mukbangs. To call her out on her lies and her fakery. And so we'll always be around just for that reason. All right. Uh, Sarah Abby says she's that stupid to realize how easy it is to tell she's buying subs. When your channel doesn't regularly gain subs and suddenly in the last couple of months it's been going up even though her views are way down. And the closer she gets to 100k the bigger gain in subs. I hope YouTube stops her. Well I hope they do too. But they took her channel away. They gave it back. And she's been breaking terms of service ever since. They haven't done anything. They have clear policies against content that monetizes or glorifies problems with food. And yet she keeps doing the mukbangs and they don't do anything. So does she know someone at YouTube? I don't know. But for some reason, they're just turning their head away from her when they shouldn't. Are you serious? Says, wow, that's amazing channel growth, Everyday Miriam. Could I purchase an e-booklet to know how to grow a channel of subscribers with flatline views? $49.95 seems to be like it'd be a fair price. <laughs> it's so crazy. How much money has Chantal spent on subscribers? I mean, I know there are different websites and stuff out there where you can buy like packages of 50 or 100 or whatever. But over the course of time, how much money has she spent on buying fake subscribers? Would it be enough to buy, I don't know, a car or pay somebody's rent? I don't know, but it's a lot of money just for a little piece of wood. Just a little piece of wood. That, that's, that's all she wants is a little piece of wood with her name on it. Chantal, you can go to Home Depot, get a piece of wood for cheap, get it painted up, put your name on it, done. But go ahead and waste your money, girl. Go ahead and waste that money. And I hope that when YouTube does review your channel and they see all of the bought subs, they remove them. And who knows, they might take action right then and there. Okay, Yup Yup says, here is one of Foodie Beauty Everyday Miriam's two-faced Beezers. The user is kind to her when speaking in English, but quite different when speaking Arabic. Huh, let's see. So I guess this person's saying, you are so productive. I'm proud of the progress you're making on your wellness journey. Okay. And then she, I guess she, is, she says in Arabic, Salah is only with her for the Canadian citizenship. Well, I don't know if he's going to get it. I think maybe Chantal lied to Salah about getting citizenship, but honestly, she can't offer that to him. I don't know why Salah's with her, but it, it, he's got to know by now that whatever it is he's hoping for, if it's something big, he ain't going to get it. Uh, D. Angry Scott says, I've seen Foodie do a lot of pathetic crap over the years. Begging for fake views and comments like this is up there with the most pathetic moment. Yep. Okay, this is from Perfectly Imperfect. Perfectly Imperfect says, yikes, her breathing is worse than ever. Can't even get through a sentence without ha having to pause to breathe. And this is a shot from a new vlog she, excuse me, I'm so sorry. This is a shot from the new vlog she did, so let's listen. The way they decorate for National Day is reminiscent to all the lights around Christmas time in Canada. You know, I'm not trying to pick on Foodie. This is just an observation as an outsider. Let's let's blow this up, okay? Let's back this up and blow this up. The way they decorate for National Day is reminiscent to all the lights around Christmas time in Canada. Again, I'm not being hateful. Just an opinion. That's all. She looks so uncomfortable. 
and the way she's walking it's like she's walk is she walking on her tippy toes or on the sides of her feet because that's not a normal gait she does not look comfortable she's not walking comfortably almost out of breath foodie what is wrong with you so it reminds me of <laughs> and i don't know how she does it i don't know how she can walk with her back almost all the way arched back i don't know if i could do that how, how does she walk like that that's got to hurt her lower back that's got to hurt her back period so imagine walking like you're all the way arched back plus you got a tremendous amount of weight in front that's got to be excruciating the way they decorate for national day is reminiscent to all the lights around I mean, you see the way she's walking it it kind of reminds me how you would walk if say you were trying to cross a river and you're trying to step over stones to get to the other side it's like that but she's not crossing a river she's just walking across a park around christmas time in canada so it reminds me of <laughs> dude that's that's frightening i don't know how she's not scared if i if somebody took footage of like this of me and then i watched it back I'll be like, wow, it, it's, I got to get it together. I really got to get it together. But this is, this is her we're talking about, not me. Okay. Like, all right. <laughs> this is from Katie saying, don't worry, foodie beauty. It'll only cost 80 bucks to get yourself a fake play button. When YouTube sends you the, the absolutely effing not letting you apply for your plaque. I wonder if they ship to Kuwait. So what is it? <laughs> What is this? Oh my God. I didn't know this was a thing. I had no idea this was a thing. That you could actually get a YouTube play button plaque made. Oh my God. Look at this, foodie. Look, look, look. All that money you're spending to get to 100K. You're over there buying subs and doing sub for sub. You got a bunch of doggone plaque. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I bet you feel all kinds of stupid right now. <laughs> That's hilarious. And you know what? Even if she reaches 100K, which she probably will because she's feverishly trying to get it done. She's not only buying subscribers, she's asking other people for help. She's going to reach 100K. So you can buy your way to 100K, foodie. But one thing you will not get is the respect. People are not going to look at you with respect because you did it organically and you earned it. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that you bought your subs everybody knows now that you're getting help getting to 100k your channel is not going to reach 100k because you were extremely entertaining you did the most for your viewers you were online all the time you're not going to get the respect because you did not earn what you got you simply bought your way to it you bought husbands now you're buying subs so you're you're just so used to buying people, aren't you? Fake husbands, fake subscribers. You just like to buy fake friends and fake admirers. Well, that screams about how awful you are because a real person doesn't need to spend money on those things. Okay. Now, this was at a moment from the new video, courtesy of Perfectly Imperfect. Foodie beauty, you're one fall away from being completely bedridden and needing a bedpan to use a bathroom. This is not funny. So this was a moment that happened during the video. And this part right here has to do with Chantal was walking. And because Chantal is at a size where she literally cannot see her feet, 
She could not look down and see her feet or the ground in front of her. That opens up the door to the possibility of falling on something or tripping on something. And if that happens, that could lead to a medical emergency of some sort. And if she falls, who's going to help her get back up? But here's what happened. Y'all watch. So that's twice she nearly fell. And, and you guys can see all the way around Chantal right now. So whoever it is that's running the camera and herself, that's it. There's nobody really nearby that if something happened, they could help out. I mean, she's making sure to stay all the way around away from people. Just tripping over herself right now. And she tries to laugh it off like it's funny, but it's not funny, Chantal. If you fell and you hurt, like, let's just say something happened to your ankle or your foot, or you gained a wound on your leg of any sort, because you're a diabetic, wounds are very, very slow to heal. And you're not one that you take care of your hygiene. If you have a wound on your body, you're not good about keeping things clean. That can become really, 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 really serious. But here's Chantal being clumsy. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't find that particularly funny. <laughs> that could have gotten serious real quick. She's had so many close calls where something could have happened and, and didn't. All it takes is one time, Chantal, just one time where you fall and, and it could get really nasty really quick. Ah, this is from Failure to Lunch. And this was a clip that aged rather badly. It's an older clip of Chantal. Let's listen. Whatever, you're stupid. Keep talking. No one even gives a f about you. You have 250 people watching. You have 250 people watching. <laughs> so. so that that was her back in the day when she was high on her doggone horse, making fun of people who only had 250 viewers, and yet. That seems to be about her average these days. Well, in karma of biatch, it sure is. It sure is. Oh, this was so cool. Y'all look at this. Courtesy of Judge Judy and Day to Day Ray. Look at these cupcakes. Somebody made Girl World cupcakes and they are like the absolute coolest. So what I, I'm going to turn off the music. So we've got, oh, we got little BBJ and French Fry, French Fry Girls logo. And <laughs> no, not the olives and the cheese and the pickles. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Scat man would approve of that. <laughs> Chantal. Oh no. <laughs> Not the blue couch. Not oh no. <laughs> they put the blue couch with the stains on it. I can't. I can't. Oh, that's too much. That is too much. Well done. Well done. Very creative. Very creative. I can appreciate a creative person. Absolutely. Is that all we got? That's all we got. That is all we've got for now. With that, now let's get into Chantal's video. 
And remember, we're we're gonna re we're only I'm only reacting to part of it because the last part of it is her doing this stupid mukbang. Uh, my mind is still blown. What does a mukbang have to do with Independence Day? Absolutely nothing. But of course, this is Chantal we're talking about. Whatever the occasion, she's got to tie in food somewhere. So, in my personal opinion, I think she just showed the Independence Day footage just to fool YouTube somehow to where they won't be eyeballing her so she can do her regular food content. That's just my opinion. But we're going to get into it. We're going to get into her video. And we're going to talk about it. Okay, let me just get rid of some of this stuff right here. I just want to know where I'm at. Okay, perfect. Y'all ready? Let's do this. Hello. Hello there. So I'm starting. What is this supposed to be? Why are we starting off the video with you with food in your hand, holding on to it like somebody's going to take it away from you? Like, what is this? <laughs> Look at the way she's looking at that food. Like, like my precious. <laughs> Oh my God. Look at the way she's looking at the food. I mean, look. There's a reason why Chantal's relationships do not work. And that's because she's already married to food. Honestly, food is a relationship that she's got going on that she is not willing to break off with. She is ever faithful to food, and that is the only partner that she's never cheated on. If there is any faith, being faithful and loyal in foodie, it has to be to food. But look at the way she's looking at it. <laughs> my precious. <laughs> Starting my day with a chicken. Oh, my. Why? Why are we... St why are we starting out an Independence Day video with you stuffing your face? What does that have to do with Independence Day? Was this like a secret video for the feedy people? You're, you're doing it for them and you're just disguising it as something else. It kind of looks like it. But you know what? I'm not having it. We're getting past that part of you stuffing your face because I'm not here for it. Goodbye. Let's keep going. We were driving by these amazing Kuwaiti villas and I just wanted to show you how beautiful the architecture is and the mosques, of course. My Kuwait eyeshadow. We also drove by South Subahia Park, which is a new amusement park that was just constructed. Yeah, why don't you take us there? Instead of driving past everything, why not take us to this new amusement park? It's brand new. Amusement parks are fun. You could have all kinds of fun in an amusement park. Why not go there? I mean, it's something fun. Why not? Why does she always refuse to take us to fun places? Why is it always abandoned places or deserted places? empty places if this were the kind of channel where that specialized in ex abandoned buildings abandoned places exploration i would say that abandoned places are uh appropriate but this is her being in kuwait and she said i'm going to show you everything interesting in kuwait but yet she's driving by one of the more interesting places fun it's almost like she's saying, I don't want to have fun. Anything fun, we're going to drive right past it. We're going to go. We're looking for anything that's boring and quiet.
it's so awkward. Like there's somebody else in the car. So you could be talking to that person, making dialogue of some sort. And because she's not talking and whoever it is is not talking, we just get this B-roll filler footage, you know, just to make the video longer. So uh, what's really interesting. Okay. So let me just show you how much of Independence Day they actually showed. Okay. So I'm, you guys can see like the little preview window, right? Okay. So right there, seven minutes of footage concerning Independence Day out of a 17 minute video. So seven minutes of just whatever footage. And then the rest is just her doing a mukbang. Look, look, mukbang crap, crap. I ref, no, I am not showing this Chantal. No, no ma'am, no thank you. That's why it's kind of shorter today, but I'm fine with that. I hope you guys are fine with that too. But seven minutes of footage and a lot of it is filler. So what, we got like three minutes to talk about, but that's okay, we'll talk about it. Driving by all these things, driving by it, even though she's not a Kuwaiti native to make this video more interesting, she could have looked up stuff on Google and taken notes and did like a voiceover explaining more about Independence Day. I mean, she really could have flushed it out. This is lazy. Seeing all the different sites and most importantly, happy 63rd National Day, Kuwait. Yellow, let's go. The way they decorate for National Day is reminiscent to all the lights around Christmas time in Canada. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> there are crowds of people everywhere in different areas of Kuwait. And you know what? Without her saying a word, I can already feel her energy from here. Did you hear the way she said that? There are crowds everywhere. Those are the words of somebody who does not like to be around crowds, who's very uncomfortable with other people near her. She sees the people around her. She can't do anything about it. So she's anxious. I mean, I can feel that anxious energy from here. She doesn't like the fact that everybody is around, but hey, it's a day of celebration. There, people are gonna be out. They're gonna be doing things. You chose to make this footage, Chantal. You knew people were gonna be out. So if you know that, why are you so afraid? You're choosing to go this location. You did it, I guess, to show the lights and because it, it, it's beautiful. The lights are beautiful. The scenery is beautiful. It's it's a shame that you're not enjoying yourself. Mostly Kuwait City. So we're going to avoid that because it's going to be hours in traffic. Even here, we've been a long time in traffic already. So... <laughs> You know, the feeling that I'm getting watching this video is that everybody else in this video, they're just relaxing and having a good time and enjoying themselves, and she is not. I think of everybody in this video, she's the only one not having fun. Kuwait celebrates two holidays this weekend. You know what? I love that tree. I love the lights coming off that tree. That is so cool looking. National Day, February 25th, and Liberation Day, February 
Lord, how mercy. Jesus, take the wheel. Dang. Again, I'm not fat shaming Chantal, just the way she's standing. That looks so incredibly uncomfortable. I can't even. Girl. February 26th. You need to take that 11 pound bag of rice and throw it into the garbage now. And all of that frozen pita bread that's in your freezer, that needs to go in the trash as well. Just no more carbs. You don't need them. In 1961, Kuwait became independent of all rule, making today. Like she just. You, you can tell she's not having fun. She just, she walks over to a location and she's just standing there moving back and forth. Like, what do I do now? She doesn't know what to do. It feels very, very, very awkward. Like, oh, look, here's this cool tree. I'm going to stand in front of it and pose. It's a very awkward pose. Today's national day, the 63rd being celebrated. Sheikh Abdullah al Salim al Sabah played a vital role in Kuwait's independence and became emperor. The al Sabah family still rules. You know, instead of doing like a voiceover with all this stuff, why couldn't you talk to the camera with your little clip on mic and tell us all this stuff as you're sitting there? Why does it have to be a voiceover? I mean, there you are. You're celebrating Independence Day in Kuwait. Why not speak into your microphone? Why does it have to be a voiceover? That's just, it, it's just weird, okay? It's really weird when you got someone that they're in a location, they could easily talk during the footage, but they choose to do a voiceover after the footage is over. It's almost like she went out, got the footage, and she went on Google, and she researched some things about Independence Day and then put it in after. That kind of feels like that. Today. Liberation Day, February 26, commemorates the day Kuwait was freed from Iraqi forces during the Gulf War. So for any newcomers, welcome. I'm Canadian citizen, and I've been residing in Kuwait for about a year now with my husband, and I love this country so much. So I'm happy to celebrate today. You know, Chantal, I don't know if you are toning things down right now, because of being in contact with the sub for sub channel and trying to put yourself out there to more Arabic speaking people and viewers. You think that by changing your name and deleting videos or privating videos, you're just trying to sweep your past under the rug. But what's get, what is put in the dark eventually comes to the light. Eventually, those new viewers that you're trying to attract, they're going to find out all about you. All about you. And like I said, things might blow up in your face harder than you expect. So this race that you got going on to reach 100K, it might prove disastrous. It's such a peaceful country and I love hearing the band playing on the streets as a Muslim revert and I love the beaches, the malls, the people are awesome. She, what? Excuse me? I love the beaches and the malls, places that she hates to go to. What is a lot? We've never seen Chantal have a beach day ever, ever. Now I can understand she doesn't want to have a beach day in deep summertime when the temperature is 124 degrees, but it's not that hot right now. When has she ever voluntarily gone to the beach? And when has she ever enjoyed her time at the mall? Never. She's always gone to the mall and complained about, oh, my back hurts. Oh, my feet hurts. Oh, it's just, it's so much for me. Anywhere public, she hates to go. The food is amazing. <laughs> Look, that, that, that shot right there. That shot right there. Like, I'm not, I'm not shaming her, okay? But just look at her posture. That is horrible. 
horrible. It, it, ouch. My back hurts just looking at her. That looks so painful. Chantal, you really need to get it together. This is horrible. There we go. That that was that was near slip and fall number one. And she caught herself. She's lucky she caught herself. And it's about to happen again. As you can see here, it's a straight traffic jam back to back on the seaside road that leads to the Alcoot area because there's going to be fireworks in about an hour and a half. So it's traffic jams all over, like I said. Yeah, what a shame. We're not going to get to see any fireworks. She could have shown us the fireworks, right? But no, no, that's too much fun. We can't have fun during one of her videos. Nothing fun. Nothing fun to see here non-stop traffic <laughs> non-stop beeping as well <laughs> so instead of her showing us the fireworks or perhaps going to an amusement park what do we get we get a mukbang because chantal wants to go home and be in the comfort of her own home and eat food as normal even on a day when you could have fun in many different ways can't have fun. Kuwaiti. So, and, and this, this is how she's spending her independence day eating. She can eat anytime she wants. She's an adult. She could eat in the morning. She could eat in the afternoon. She could eat at night. On a day of celebration, what does she choose to do? Eat. She could do anything else but eat. No, I'm not here for it. I am not. I'm not. Okay. Just so you guys can see that we're not here for this. No. No, I am not. No. Chantal, you just showed us footage where you were having trouble walking. You nearly tripped twice you you can't walk right and, and you're gonna eat all this rice girl stop stop for god's sakes you just need to stop stop all this nonsense Ugh, i can't no no we're not doing the mukbang thing i refuse she, she screwed up the video by including a mukbang but she just had to sneak that in there didn't she well we're cutting it off here because I ain't watching her eat. How about that? So, hope you enjoyed you guys. Uh, words. Hope you guys enjoyed the react. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.